Hey guys, Chris from QuickBooks here with another quick update. Uh, today we'll be going through the new feature that just got released to QuickBooks Labs today, uh, the new experience for reclassified transactions. Now this feature is available for our QuickBooks Online account and users, and what it will enable you to do is the ability to be able to reclassify transactions by GST code. Yes, that's right. Uh, I know this is something you guys have been asking for for quite a little while now, so super happy to have it in the product, and I know everyone across the Australian team is super pumped to be able to deliver this feature. The first thing you want to do is, is click that gear icon and select QuickBooks Labs. Now if you scroll down to the bottom, you see there is the option for new bulk reclassified tool. You want to turn that on and then hit done. Now as always, uh, the reclassified transactions tool is available in the accounting tools briefcase. So you want to click that briefcase and let's select reclassify transactions. Um, there you go. First thing you're going to note is, is a brand new look and feel. Um, so we've updated the design to match the rest of the product. Um, and as always, you do have the ability to be able to filter by date, uh, type of transaction, uh, count, class, and GST code. Uh, naturally, you don't have to apply in those filters, but you can if you so choose. So I'm not going to bother with any filters. Let's just hit find and see this thing in action. See, uh, there we go. So what it's done is pull through some transactions. And what I'm going to show you, I'm going to I'm going to go through the experience of uh, reclassifying a GST code since um, you're all probably familiar with how to reclassify the, the class and accounts at this point. So I'm going to select these three transactions here where the transaction code is GST. There we go, we're going to go reclassify. And I'm going to change these to GST free and then click apply. And there you go, those transactions have been changed straight away. Um, now I'm gonna show you what happens if you were to accidentally select the wrong GST code. So we're gonna select these three transactions again, hit reclassify, and this time I'm going to choose a, a purchase code. So let's go GST free on non-capital, hit apply, and then say nope. You see that you've been prompted with an error message. Um, if you hover over the little red exclamation mark, it'll tell you why. Um, and these will be highlighted red. Now, now this is quite useful. Obviously, if you say select uh, like you know 20, uh, 30 transactions at a time, and only a few were prompted with an error, you'd be able to quickly identify which ones um, were the ones that were prompted with an error. I guess that is sort of the feature. It is it is pretty simple. Um, test it out. One thing to note though is at the moment, if you were to select a bunch of transactions on this page and then go to the next page. Um, and select a few more, those transactions on the first page will not apply if you were to go ahead and reclassify them. So try to keep to, keep to one page at a time. Um, now what you can actually do is by clicking the gear icon, you can actually change that default rows per page to 300 if you feel the 150 isn't quite enough for you. So that's, that's one way to sort of um, get those transactions there to be a bit more. Equally, you may find that 150 is too much and you, and you can drop that down to 50. Um, yeah, so that's all we have for you today. Um, as we mentioned, very excited to see this in, in the product. If you have any feedback, as always, please leave it down in the comments below, and, and I'll see you next time for our next quick update. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.